Pukoyo, a little something in between. Pato and Pukoyo were playing with building blocks. Together, they made a terrific team. In just a short time, they built a huge castle tower. Unfortunately, however, they were missing one block to finish the tower. When Pokoyo realized, he took one of the blocks from the bottom of the tower and placed it on top. But that was not such a good idea. With one little push, the tower came tumbling down. Oh no! All that work for nothing. Pato got really angry with Pocoyo, but then Pocoyo blamed Pato, and soon they were both really angry with each other. Pocoyo was just trying to help Pato, but now neither of them wanted to speak or play with the other. They were both so angry, they began to stack the blocks to separate one from the other. They put one block on top of another until they had built a very high wall that kept them apart. And then each of them went to their own side of the wall and totally ignored the other. They were both very happy when Ellie appeared. Could she find a way to resolve all this silliness? But when Ellie saw how stubborn Pocoyo and Pato were being, she decided to leave. Pato and Pocoyo began to play on their own, each on his own side of the wall. But soon they realized that playing on their own was not as fun as playing together. Pocoyo found a photo of himself and Pato and began to feel very sad when he realized how much he missed his great friend. Then Pato saw the picture and they both began to feel so sad they started to cry. When Ellie saw them, she knew she had to put an end to their squabbles. So she gathered up all her strength and gave the wall a huge shove, pushing it far, far away. Fantastic! As soon as Pato and Pocoyo saw each other again, they ran to hug one another. Thank you, Ellie. Pocoyo and Pato learned that making up with your friends is much more fun than being angry with them. Hooray for friends!